Uh, your your HSU uh, uh, football season uh, on the field has ended, but uh, you got some uh, uh, some good news knowing that uh, you're going to be uh, strapping it up again and uh, and playing football. So, what was your reaction after getting getting the, the news? Yeah, I'm just excited. It's obviously a great opportunity. Really, the best uh, opportunity you have in terms of bowl games, all star games, to kind of showcase what you're able to do. And so, especially for a small school guy, uh, it's going to be a really important week. Great opportunity. Uh, now, have you participated in any kind of like kind of bull game or kind of post? Uh, uh, so this would be new for you. What uh, have they told you anything? Just what what it's going to be like? I don't know. I know we got a few days of practice starting in uh, it's January twenty second, the first day, and then you practice for three days, have a walkthrough, and then the game that weekend. So it's a big week. Um, for the background, how are you selected to, to participate in this game? Yeah, I think it's just kind of the. Uh, overall work that you've put in the last few years and they kind of recognize what you've done, what you've accomplished and see that uh, kind of want to give you an opportunity to show what you can do at a bigger stage. What has it been like for you this season? Obviously there's been a lot of off the field, but on the field knowing when uh, NFL teams are showing up uh, at practices and just kind of, you know, you know, taking a look at you, what has that been like uh, for you? I mean, during the season, you don't really think about it much, right? Like, you're focused on the job you have at, at that moment. And so that was really the focus the whole year. Now it's kind of shifted a little bit. So you kind of just have to take it step by step. So right now at the end of the season, we're kind of focused on getting ready for the senior bowl. We'll kind of see what happens after that. Yeah, along with uh, academics, classes, mm -hmm. the senior bowl. Uh, after that, what, what will be your next, uh, next step? Yeah, it'll just be either some pro, pro day or combine trying to have another opportunity to showcase my abilities. And we'll just kind of see. I'm really just focused on one step at a time right now. You know, it's kind of, there's a lot going on, so you got to focus on one one thing. Is there anybody during this time that you've kind of reached out to just kind of say, hey, what do I need to do? Or what kind of uh, advice would you have, you know, for me as I kind of enter the stage that you've never experienced before? Yeah, I mean, guys, somebody like Taylor Boggs, you know, who's been, not only through Humboldt State, but then through the NFL process. That's a great guy to lean on. There's anybody who's been through the process before. You know. When you hear of like media guys, you see your name on Twitter, uh, just all those avenues, and just talking about this D2 lineman from uh, you know Little Arcata, uh -huh. uh, and just a, a, about your play. I mean, that has to feel really good that you you, you know that, that that you're getting recognized. Yeah, I'm just excited for the opportunity. Really, uh, I know it's going to take a lot of hard work, so that's what we're doing. I was just excited. How how did your game change from getting here to Humboldt to, to now? Uh, the work you put in with Drew Peterson. That's really the accumulation of the work you put in in the weight room over the past four and a half years. Uh, huge credit to Drew. He's taught me so much and really put me in a position to be able to hopefully pursue something. Yeah. It has to be every athlete's dream, dream to, to play football. I know the whole like you know high school play at college. Not everybody gets to play college football. Now, uh, the opportunity to hopefully get a get a chance to go professional in, in the NFL. Uh, that had to be uh, growing up a, a dream for yours. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's really cool, and I know it's special. A lot of people want this opportunity, and uh, very few have the opportunity. So it's really you got to take advantage of it. Uh, you got to put in the work and be prepared. So when you get the opportunity, you're ready to go. All right, and last question, you know, with the uh, with the plus drive, uh, you know, hearing that they're over the $500,000 total for, for next year, um, how does that, you know, make you feel? Obviously, the decision be made uh, on Friday, but how, uh, you know, just the community, you know, the outpouring yeah. support, I mean, it has to make you feel, just, just to kind of, you, you know, hear that. It's unbelievable. The words that our whole community has put in are really obviously to cap to somebody like Jim Rad, who's gone the extra mile to get all this done. I think the community showed that they have the support and they're willing to uh, speak not just with their mouths but with their wallets as well to keep this thing going. And now it's really up to the administration. The community's done their part and has shown that they will continue to do that over the next few years. So let's see what happens. Sounds good. Perfect. Yeah, I just asked you a bunch of other questions.